Okay. Bro, that's... That's some scary stuff. Imagine hardcore dying to something like that. Oh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting now we have the... Ult on 4. I should be still popping it, but... It's not anymore the, the freeze. the notification oh that's annoying man those restarts like they have to fix like i have problems from time to time i have problems from time to time but some people probably can't even play this better with how bad the memory leak and everything is Especially in, in the future, playing this game when it fully releases on on hardcore, there cannot be like issues like this. I need time to prepare that. Oh yeah, and the potion gets consumed too. Attack speed or dodge? Go attack speed. Twenty four. Beautiful. Upgrades to... When Deep Freeze ends, gain 10% of your base life as a barrier. Wait, zero? For six seconds... For each enemy you froze while it was active. Why does it say zero? Non-ultimate cooldowns. Oh, those are not that great, actually. Frost skills deal increased damage to elites. That's really good. I'm going with this instead of the... Yeah. That's actually really good. Damage to elites. Frost Nova rank. Uh, no intelligence though. Less, I mean. There was 7, but I have 13. I need time to prepare that. That's a really good ult. I need time. Yeah, the frost spells are pretty sick. And the Hydra is pretty OP, so everyone uses the Hydra from fire. Okay, let's go in. Bro, I hope this is... I kind of remember it being difficult, but I was on Barb. go in dungeons are always scary but like running around the map i i could i mean it would be safer oh isn't this one with the big boys that killed me back then isn't that what it is i actually think it is Yeah, it is the one with big boys. Okay, I have to be very careful. Oh yeah, this this is a kind of a bad idea. I have to be extremely careful playing long range. Out of mana 
once again. See, we have to be careful for the big boys rushing. I mean, that skill is insane, though. That's, that ult is insane. The barb ult I was using wasn't even close to this. It was good, but... Nowhere close to this. Close to what's happening here with this old. That one shot at me on Barb. I'm not risking it. That one shot at me on Barb. The big boy plus the totem. Yeah. Gotta be careful about around those totems. I'm gonna be just ulting them. Okay, this guy. Oh, you have to be close to him to do damage, I think. I need time to no, he ran. Okay, he's stuck. He's stunned. So big. Okay, please go away from my screen. No way. Bro, is this bugged? Because I skipped. No way this is bugged now on my screen. Bro, like... It, unless when it, the text goes away, it's gonna go away. I really hope so. Bro, I'm just getting, like... Shit on right now. Being almost level 25 with all the... The game, like, crushing everything on my PC. If this is gonna stay on the screen, I'm gonna be pissed off. Please. I hope once the voice acting that I skipped goes away, I hope it's gonna go away too. Okay, it did. That's like literally on the entire screen. That's such a bad thing, man. Oh, he, he froze mid-jump. That's sick. I think I died in this room because there was a totem in this room when I was playing Barb. That totem we killed before was in this room and all of those guys that blow up together with the totem one shot at me, one comboed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this room. No blood, the bishop will be more.
Okay, my ult, ult, ult. The ult is so good. Fear, that's bad. Careful now. I need time to that was scary. That was scary. See, like, losing control, fear. Fear or anything like that is really bad. It's always scary when you cannot heal or fight or run. I'm not ready yet. That ult though, so good, so good. I might place Sorceress on release, <laughs> like this, this hardcore playthrough may, may have convinced me. But we still have to play Rogue, Rogue, Necro, Druid. Halfway to 25. I'm afraid of this boss a little bit. Definitely gonna go with my ult ready. Up shy. Yeah, the game is really good. There is uh, in this beta there is memory leak and some performance issues, but I'm assuming for release they're gonna fix it. So if there's gonna be no no like bullshit pay to win and stuff on release, then the game is. And we don't know the end game, but the everything in beta to level 25 is really really good. Story, music, gameplay, everything. It's very fun. I'm gonna be missing this game after beta is over. But we still have the next weekend. Next weekend there is uh, Necromancer and Druid added. I have my ult, but I'm waiting. Oh, that's the bubble from my necklace. That's the first time I see it popping. I guess I didn't pay attention. Anything good? Anything decent? All stats. All the resistance. More. Oh, we lose the rank of Hydra though. We do lose the rank of Hydra. I mean, it is kind of better though. Wow, this is better too? Even then upgraded, wow. 
Overpowered damage. Damage to crowd control. That's good. Oh, it doesn't have the intelligence boost, though. Yeah, without the upgrade, it's not that good. We're just gonna keep going for now. Not switching my gear. But that's the one. I'm not ready yet. We have to be careful with those totems. There is the boss room. We are two and a half bar away. Scary stuff. So close to level 25, max in the beta. Classes are uh, I got Barbarian to 25. Now we are almost 25 on Sor Sorok uh, on hardcore, so permadeath. If this character dies, it, it's deleted. And I wanted to play also Rogue, but the beta ends tomorrow. But the next weekend, uh, apparently the characters carry over to the next beta. And they will unlock Necromancer and Druid. So I'm definitely trying Necromancer and Druid the next weekend. And if we have enough time, I also will tr try out the uh, rogue, for sure. But today we are just le reaching level 25, we, we finished the story already. I'm just trying to reach level 25 here. To be done with this. I've been streaming for, for many hours today, but the stream crashed twice. Because the game has a memory leak, so sometimes it just like completely crashes all the programs on PC. So I have to restart the stream. Oh god, bro, this is the final test. We actually have to beat this boss. One and a half bar left. Like I could just leave this dungeon and get, get level 25, but we are risking it here on Blood Bishop. Sweet blood for the soul. Don't let him grab you. Oh, he's stunned, yeah. GG. Yeah, Sork is super powerful. Let's go. Sark is super powerful. I had a lot of trouble on Barbarian until I switched to a full bleed build. And on Sark it seems no matter what you use, you are extremely powerful. We might roll Sark on the full release of the game. I, I kinda got convinced by our uh, hardcore playthrough here. With how powerful it is, it's, it's kinda crazy, man. It actually is crazy. Let's see, uh, are we gonna get one and a half bar? From a quest, I we might not. So I'm gonna have to kill a couple of monsters outside of the town. But almost there. Almost there. Unless I get kicked from the servers or something. Ah, oh, thank the fates 
But it is fun playing on permadeath. That will be the end of it. That fear Thank of dying. You you've done, but it's fun. Please never speak of this again. Yeah, let's go. We did it. Believers in. One bar left. One bar left. Hmm. I mean, I can't even do this side mission right now. So. Guess I'm just gonna run out of the town. Shouldn't take long. It's already pretty late for me, but we had to do it. Even when the game was crashing my OBS, we survived. I'm not ready yet. An event may be happening. World event would be nice. The boss definitely doesn't spawn, yeah. It sucks that they, the world boss, they limited to like a couple times during the entire beta. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna run around and try to kill stuff. Maybe there's gonna be an event happening, that would be nice. I don't really have any side missions taken. Only one that I cannot do, because I would have to unlock a new town. Oh, there we go. We have some odds. Oh, nice. That's a lot of mobs. This ult is pretty sick. Oh. Okay, what are you? Oh, that's a normal guy. I was afraid. Wait, there is a lot of them. I've seen a clip of someone dying to a high level monster. Level 25. We did it. Let's go. GG's. We did it. Le reach level 25 in hardcore mode. That, that was some kind of a mini boss in the open world. Yeah. I saw a clip of Co Carnage entering like a level 9 area, and there was a level 35 or something mob that killed him. And I think that's a bug or something. <laughs> but yeah, huh? we did it. Let's go. You, you've been here. You witnessed it. Doesn't even matter where we spend this point. Hey, we did it. Level 25 in hardcore in beta. That's the max you can do. And we finished the chapter's story too. We did it. Um, I'm really looking forward to the full game. I'm really hoping they're not gonna mess it up. Like the music, story so far, gameplay, everything is really, really good. So it literally comes down to how long and how good the end game is of the game when the game comes out after you reach level 100. And if there is gonna be no scummy mechanics, any pay to win or anything like that. That's the only worry. But yeah, we reached level 25 on Barb. We reached hardcore level 25. No deaths on permadeath mode, hardcore with Sork. We, I wanted to play Rogue. Maybe tomorrow morning off stream when I have like a little bit of time, I'm gonna just like play a tiny bit of Rogue just to get like, you know, the feeling if I like the class or not. Because we kind of run out of time, but to anyone interested only in Diablo, uh, I still appreciate you watching, but next weekend, uh, next weekend there is going to be the open beta, so if the servers are not going to be dying like crazy, I am going to be trying Necromancer, Druid that they will unlock, and maybe Rogue too, if we have enough time. Because I didn't get to play Rogue after... Uh, the last two days we did get 25 on Barb and 25 on Sork on Hardcore. But, and if, of course, when the game fully comes out in June, we're gonna be playing that a lot. So make sure to follow the stream if you are looking forward to that. But also on Friday, I'm gonna like infor inform you guys on Discord and everywhere what I'm gonna be playing the next week. I have to figure something out. But uh, on Friday, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake comes out. 
really looking forward to that single player game. We're going to be playing it probably a lot, so more, maybe more than one playthrough too.